Okay, so here we have this equation, and we're going to solve this a couple uh, ways. We're going to first solve it the long way, and then we're going to uh, solve it the shorter way. And I like to kind of maybe even say this is the smart way, right? We want to always uh, take the most efficient route to solve any math problems because oftentimes when you're doing math problems outside of homework, you're taking, you're doing these things on a test or uh, a quiz or whatnot. You got to be efficient, and oftentimes, especially in algebra with equations, there's different tactics you can take. Now, my first question to you is, what type of equation are we dealing with here? Okay, so let's see if you can answer this right off the bat. Now, if you look at the title of the video, it's going to tell you, but if you said, hmm, is that a quadratic equation? I would, in fact, say, yes, it is, and give you a happy face uh, with a check mark. I would say, yep, good job. That is a quadratic equation. And with quadratic equations, there's different techniques, that uh, different tools that we need to bring uh, to uh, a problem, okay? And so uh, problems can be solved in, in various ways. Some problems can only be solved in one way. So that's why it's important to learn everything about, um, you know, a particular subject like, say, quadratic equations, okay? You just don't learn one technique and apply it to every single problem because you oftentimes will just end up doing things the long way, not the smart, shorter, efficient way. So if you think you know how to solve this problem, okay, I would definitely encourage you to solve it the best way you can, okay? If you can get the solution, that's excellent, no matter what, even if you did it the long way. But um, it's, uh, go ahead and see what you uh, know about quadratic equations, right? So you're thinking about, or you're watching this video, and if you know something about quadratic equations, think about it, and, uh, you know, uh, that's the best way uh, to make the most out of these videos because if you just see the solution, then you don't really have a chance to really, you know, think about what you would do in a problem like this. Well, then you're not going to get the best uh, benefit from the video. But uh, well, I'm going to get into both of these ways here in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. You can uh, check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different uh, math courses ranging from pre-algebra to uh, algebra one, geometry, algebra two. I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here uh, shortly. But I also do a lot in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for a test uh, like the GED, SAT, high set task, uh, CLEP, Accuplacer, Alex exam, Praxis, teacher certification exam, uh, maybe a nursing entrance school exam, uh, all those exams, maybe the ASVAB, all those ex um, exams that I mentioned have a lot of math on them. If you don't do well in a math section, you don't do well in an exam. So if you need help preparing uh, for that, uh, for those particular exams, just go to my website, check out my full course catalog. I should have what you need. If I do not, please drop me a line and I will help you out the best I can. I also do a lot with independent learners like uh, homeschoolers. I, I've been working with homeschoolers for 15 plus years, have a great homeschool uh, learning program, so I could definitely help you out. Then obviously I help those of you in your current math courses. Now, uh, one thing I cannot do for you, right, is this note taking. Now, as boring as that sounds, this is the secret sauce to success in mathematics. So over decades of teaching math, it's apparent to me those students are working hard in class, taking great notes, almost always do fantastic on their tests and grades. And the reverse is true. Those students who were like me way back in the good old 1980s. Um, you know, back in the 1970s, by the way, uh, when I was like in uh, elementary school, I think I was better at note-taking than I was like in middle and high school. And why is that? Well, because, you know, we're getting more, you know, social. We're trying to stand out with our buddies. Hey, you know, or, you know, uh, you know how it is. Okay, you're probably maybe in high school or been to high school. So you understand what I'm saying. But I think I was a better student in elementary school than I was in high school because I was totally distracted, not doing what I was supposed to be doing. Um, and guess what? I was getting grades like C minuses and my, you know, response was like, what happened there? Well, what happened was I wasn't doing my part. Okay. A uh, teacher can teach you, but if you're not doing your part, you're not going to learn math. And that part for you, your responsibility is great note-taking. Okay, so if you can do that, you're going to do very well. Um, so in the meantime, as you're improving in your notes, okay, and your note-taking, I offer detailed comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, and trigonometry. You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get back to this problem. 
So first thing is, can you solve this problem in any way? Okay. Uh, now, I'm going to give you some uh, guidance on um, how to learn quadratic equations. Matter of fact, let me just tell you right now, I have tons of videos on this in my algebra playlist, quadratic equations. But if you really want to master this stuff, you want to uh, check out my um, Algebra 1 course in my Math Help program. All right, let's get to it and uh, talk about a quadratic equation. So if we have a quadratic equation problem, we have various options, okay? Sometimes you could take the square root of both sides, okay? Sometimes you can factor, okay? Now, if you can't factor and if you can't take the square root of both sides, these are like the best uh, scenarios, okay? Sometimes you cannot do this. These, it all depends on the problem. Well, if you can't do either of those things, we still need to be able to solve the problem. So we're going to rely on the quadratic formula. Okay, this is like, uh, you know, uh, no other options. We go to this. And then if you really want to take the long, long way, we could do something called completing the square, which is kind of a long version of the quadratic formula. Okay, but you still need to know this. You need to know all these techniques. Now, what happens is a lot of students don't know what techniques they should use. And the only way you're going to uh, get better at quadratic equations is by doing a lot of them. Now, the first thing you need to understand is that all quadratic equations will always have two solutions, always have two solutions, and they can be solved. Okay, now you may have real number solutions or imaginary number solutions, but the bottom line is there is an answer. So you can't be like, mm, there is no answer. No, there is an answer. And this is kind of our choices, right? Now, Again, sometimes you can use this technique or this technique, uh, uh, and then obviously we always can use this, these two techniques right here. Okay, so with that being said, let's get into the long way to do this problem. And uh, this might be a hint on what the short way is going to be, but let's just go and take a look at our problem. Okay, so we have two, uh, two x squared minus nine x minus five equals zero. So let's suppose you're, uh, you know, you're look at the problem. You're like, oh yeah, this is the quadratic formula. You know, I know that the quadratic formula is super cool. Here it is right here. And it is cool. It's an awesome formula. And here it is. You're like, it's in standard form. A is equal to two. All right. That's that right there. That number uh, B is negative nine. And then this number here is C. Okay. That's negative five. We need to write this in standard form and do this. Now, again, I'm not going to try to teach about the quadratic formula too much because that's at the point of this video. The point is, is like, oh, I'm just going to go directly to the quadratic formula. Well, that's just going to be the long way to solve this problem. Okay, so now we plug in all our values into the formula. And what do we have? So we have, uh, you can kind of see this right here. So here's our negative 9. That's our B. Plus or minus B squared. That's negative 9 squared. Minus 4 AC right here uh, over 2A. And uh, the quadratic formula, it's awesome, but there is so many opportunities to make uh, errors in here. Okay, so as a math teacher, and I probably graded maybe 100 million test or quizzes and homework over the uh, decades. Well, obviously not that many, but it's a lot. Okay, and when you grade that many things, you see, you see trends. You see where people make mistakes and common mistakes. You just, uh, you know, as a teacher... You know, you do something for a long, long time. You can kind of see what these errors um, occur. And right in here, underneath the square root, there's all kinds of opportunities uh, when people are plugging in, especially with these negative values, to make mistakes here. So not only is this the long way, uh, there is more risk of making an error. So anyways, let's continue on. So uh, so x is going to be minus or minus 9. That's positive 9. Plus or minus negative 9 squared. 81 minus, that's actually plus a negative 4. 2 times negative 5, that's all 40 right there. A lot of students would get that sign wrong because they're not paying attention, etc., etc. I'm going to add those up. That's 121. So 9 plus or minus over 4, that gives me x is equal to 9 plus or minus the square root of 121, okay, over 4. Uh, let's see here. Uh, hopefully I didn't mis misspeak. If I did, forgive me. Let's continue on. So the square root of 121 is 11. So we have 9 plus or minus over 4. Now, this plus or minus is how we get our two answers, okay? So x is going to be equal to 9 plus uh, 11 over 4. That's one version. And now this plus or minus, the other one's going to be 9 minus 11 over 4. So when we figure those two things out, we get 5, okay? 9 plus 11, obviously 20 uh, divided by 4 is 5. That's one solution. And here I get negative 2 over 4. I reduce that. 
and I get uh, negative one half. So these are my two answers. Now, if you did go with those two uh, solutions and you use the quadratic formula, then I will feel compelled to give you a little happy face and a check mark. Okay. Uh, matter of fact, I'll give you 100%. All right. I'm not going to give you an A plus and a bunch of stars and a mohawk uh, on this particular problem because you know you took longer than you needed to. Okay. You worked harder. Okay. What we want to do is work smarter. I mean, listen. I mean, like, let's take a look at that work. That's a lot of work and a lot of room for error. But if you got it right using a quadratic uh, formula, I must give you give you uh, your respect and uh, props there, so good job, all right? But listen, you want to do this problem the short way or the smart way, and here it is, like, wow, this is it, okay? This is the short way, so here's our problem, and uh, what do we wanna do? Well, you always wanna see if you can factor, okay? Uh, so you got a trinomial, you need to be thinking factoring. Now, why wouldn't a student be thinking factoring? Well, because they weren't taking notes, uh, during that time when their teacher was teaching factoring. Okay, a lot of students are weak in factoring trinomials. And if you watch my videos, uh, maybe you're, this is my uh, one of your your first video to my channel, so welcome, and hopefully you'll uh, be a subscriber. But uh, for those who watched other videos, I stress factoring. Factoring is a key algebra skill. If you're super good at that, everything is going to get better at you, better for you in algebra. So here, you're like, oh, can I factor this? And if you're really good at factoring, you could be like, oh, yeah, I can factor this now. I'm not uh, going to get into how to factor trinomials. I have tons of videos on this. Of course, you really want to master this. You want to jump into like my Algebra 1 course. But here, I can factor 2x squared minus 9x minus 5 as 2x plus 1 uh, times x minus 5. And this is awesome, okay, because uh, we can use something called the zero product property. So if this thing times this thing is equal to zero, right? If I said, hey, I got these two things, and when I multiply them together, it's equal to zero. Well, how can I get that answer? If I multiply two things and the answer is zero, that means this has to be zero, or this has to be zero, or both are zero. And that's exactly what we do. We're saying, okay, 2x plus 1, we're going to set you equal to zero, and x minus 5, we're going to set you uh, equal to zero and solve. And when I do that simple algebra, I get x is equal to a negative 1 half, and x is equal to 5, and these should look familiar to you because these are the same answers right here, 5 and negative 1 half. But uh, again, what would you rather do? You'd rather do this amount of work, or would you rather do this amount of work? Okay, so the answer is obvious. We always want to work, uh, you know, the shortest, most uh, efficient way in mathematics because you know, doing um, things efficiently is the right way, okay? You don't want to take the long path, and that's why you learn different techniques. And I, I would say also that um, uh, you um, don't want to just get stuck with one method, especially like when you're solving quadratic equations or systems. People, students will be like, oh, I'm really good at this technique. I'm just going to always do all my problems using, using this technique. No, you cannot. You got to learn all of them and uh, you know, apply all those various tools. Now, if you got this problem right by factoring, then wow, I must definitely give you a happy face, a mohawk, an A plus, and a 100%. And this wasn't that difficult of a problem, but I'll give you two stars and a job well done. And if you got this problem right, again, by using a quadratic uh, formula, nice job as well, okay? But again, I'm trying to get you to work efficiently and uh, improve in algebra. All right, so um, a couple quick recommendations. Again, if you're struggling with any of these uh, topics, whether it be factoring, quadratic formula, um, et cetera, et cetera, I have tons of uh, information on my YouTube channel. I've been on YouTube for over 10 years. I know I have over a thousand videos, um, so please take advantage of them. They're organized in various playlists, basic to advanced mathematics. Of course, my best math help will be within my um, math help program. But um, listen, if you work on taking great notes, you know, getting help, extra help from your teacher, okay, and, you know, checking out videos, let's say, you know, if you like my teaching style, I have tons of, of uh, help there for you. I mean, 
you, there's no reason why you can't be doing very well in math, all right? So if you're struggling, listen, you can definitely turn that around. Um, so hopefully I helped you out. And if that is the case, please consider smashing that like button. That helps me out. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider uh, subscribing because I'm posting new content all the time. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.